Hello friends, have you ever heard of personal hygiene? Personal hygiene is the practice that we follow to look after our body and keep it clean. Personal hygiene can ensure we stay healthy. This practice includes bathing, toothbrushing, brushing, hand washing and many more. Why do we need to take care of our personal hygiene? The basic idea is to avoid the disease. You probably know how germs can make you feel sick, right? Germs include viruses, bacteria and fungi. So now, let me show you how to take care of your hygiene. First, let's start with hand hygiene. You need to cut your fingernails every week, but for the two nails, you can cut them every two weeks. Besides, you should have two nail clippers, one for your fingers and one for your toes. This is to reduce the chance of transferring bacteria or fungus between your feet and hands. When do we need to wash our hands? Okay, bear in mind you need to wash your hands before handling food, before you eat, after handling garbage, when you are sneezing or coughing, or after you touch pets or animals. The recommended hand washing time is at least 20 seconds, so make sure you complete all the steps and don't rush through them. First, wet your hands and apply enough liquid soap to create a good leather. Second, rub your hands palm to palm in circular motions. Third, with your fingers linked through the other hand, use your right palm to rub the back of your left hand, then swap. Fourth, link your fingers together facing each other into clasped hands, then rub your palms and fingers together. Fifth, cup your fingers together with your right hand over and your left hand under. With your fingers interlock, rub the backs of them against your palms. Six, enclose your right hand around your left thumb and rub as you rotate it. Seven, rub your fingers over your left palm in a circular motion. And lastly, you should then thoroughly rinse with a warm running water and dry with a clean disposable paper towel. Next, we are going to learn about facial hygiene. Wash your face at least twice daily using a facial cleanser face wash. Remember that the skin on your face is more sensitive than the other parts of your body. You can either use your face cleanser in the shower or wash your face separately at the sink. Avoid using hot water as this will make your skin irritated and flaky. Then, rinse your face with lukewarm water and pat dry with a soft towel. Apply moisturizer if your skin is dry or itchy. Make sure to be gentle when applying any cream around your eyes so you do not pull too hard on this delicate skin. Secondly, we move on to oral care. Brushing your teeth twice a day is one of the most important practices for removing plaque and bacteria and keeping teeth clean. The most suitable time to brush your teeth are right away when you wake up, before going to sleep or after taking sugary food. And don't forget to replace your toothbrush every 3 months. Experts recommend that people see a dentist every 6 months for a checkup. During a routine dental examination, a hygienist will clean the teeth and remove plaque and harden tartar. Let's move on to the next one which is hair care. Getting into a hair care routine is just like embarking on a skincare wand. Maintaining a good hair care routine is as important as following a skincare regimen. It keeps your hair soft, healthy, free of infections, greasiness and other conditions. First tips, wash your hair regularly, then dry your hair naturally by air drying or using a towel. Lastly, apply conditioner only on the tips of the hair and not on your scalp. Body hygiene is one of the most important parts of self-care. Make sure you clean every part of your body correctly with these tips. You can take shower at least twice a day which is in the morning and in the evening. This is the best way to get rid of any dirt, sweat and or germs that your body may have accumulated and prevents hygiene related diseases. Plus, showering helps you feel, look and smell your best throughout the day. You also should take shower before going to school, after back from school or after going to crowded Areas. Oh, and don't forget to exfoliate your skin once or twice a week. You may use shower loafers for cleaning and exfoliating your skin. You can gently scrub the shower loafers onto your entire body, removing the dead skin cells and dead. Remember to replace these items regularly as they can easily harbor bacteria. 
Maintaining genital hygiene is very important in order to keep infections away. Both men as well as women must practice good genital hygiene to keep their bodies clean and free from disease caused by germs and bacteria. There are certain bacteria which thrive on our skin and are responsible for eating away the dead skin. However, an excess accumulation of bacteria due to poor genital hygiene can pose a serious health risk. Therefore, it is very important to maintain a good genital hygiene. There are few things that you should do for genital care such as wash the private area every day with mild soap and plenty of warm water. Remember, avoid using scented products to clean your pubic area as they can lead to pH imbalance. Next, after urinating, wipe the pubic area using a toilet paper or a soft cloth after urinating so your underwear is always dry. It is recommended to use a separate razor for the growing area and use thick unscented shaving creams. Do not use soap and water only to shave. Have you ever heard of close hygiene? Maintaining close hygiene is important in preventing odor and bacterial infection. There are many ways to maintain clothes hygiene. First and foremost, you should place dirty clothes in a laundry basket separated from clean clothes. In addition, wash your clothes regularly. Besides, drying the clothes can kill some disease-causing germs and parasites. Also, don't forget to iron when needed to remove the wrinkles. Next, you must fold and organize your clean clothes. Lastly, always change into clean clothes after showering. So, you already know how to maintain clothes hygiene. Now, let us proceed with footwear hygiene. Firstly, wash and thoroughly dry your feet every day. Next, wear clean socks and change them at least daily. After that, don't forget to always keep your shoes clean. Besides, wash your socks regularly. You should rotate shoes, don't wear the same pair two days in a row. Give your shoes time to dry out and it is preferable to keep your shoes in a shoe rack or cabinet. Lastly, repair and recycle your shoes when necessary. Do you know that the most important environment that we need to maintain cleanliness is our own house because it is where we spend the most time especially during this pandemic. So let's learn on how to keep our environment clean. First thing first, it is good to sweep mop and vacuum the floor of your house area every day. Make sure your kitchen is tidy and clean your toilet because it's where the bacteria grows enormously. Next, bedroom is where we spend the most time in the house. So don't forget to clean your bedroom and change your bed sheet. Hmm, the next personal hygiene is sickness hygiene. Do you know what is sickness hygiene? This hygiene is when you need to take special steps if you are not feeling well, so you can prevent spreading the germ to others. Firstly, close your mouth and nose by using an elbow when sneezing and do not use your hands. If you use your hand, please apply the steps of hand washing before you touch anything. Cover your mouth and nose by using a face mask when you are in public space to prevent from infecting other people especially in this pandemic era. Make sure you are not sharing any utensils or foods. Wiping down the shared space with antibacterial wipe or disinfect your valuable things. Practice social distancing in public. And lastly, throw away your soil tissue. If you practice this, I'm sure you can save people from getting infected. Have you ever wondered what will happen if we practice a poor hygiene? Firstly, without proper hand and body wash, you will have higher risk of bacteria and virus infection. Bacteria and virus infection are very dangerous because it can make us feeling unwell and sick. Secondly, poor oral hygiene can cause toothache and bring bad smells. Next, poor hygiene can cause body odor. It makes your friend feel uncomfortable to be near you. Poor hygiene can also cause stomach ache infection. How does this happen? Infection can take place if you eat contaminated foods or drinks. Lastly, it can cause rash. Accumulation of sweat at folded area of body can trigger rash which causes itching. Hmm, so now do you think it is important for you to take care of your personal hygiene? When are you going to start? It should be now or you will regret later. Bye guys, make sure to keep yourself clean okay?